Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, I will be discussing to you the properties of congruence and equality. But before that, let us first familiarize what are the differences between the equality and the congruence. So we have here our table. So when we say equality, uh, these are the relations that we can express in numbers. So our root word is equal, so we're going to use the equal sign. Hey, so we use equality. We said by the definition in anything that we can express numbers, such as angle measurement, segment length, area, and ratio. So let's have an example. First is the angle measurement. So measurement, measure angle A plus measure angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Now we're simple. So in our equality, we can use the addition or our multiplication. Segment length, let's say we have MN is equal to PQ is equal to 5. For the area, area of quadrilateral BCDE is equal to 81 cm squared. And for the ratio, 3 fourths is equal to JK over KM. So this indicates our sides and we use the equal sign. Now for the congruence and similarity, so congruence and similarity for the congruent, we use, are you familiar with this symbol? Okay, the congruent. And for the similarity, we have this symbol. Okay, yeah, I will include similarity. For the congruence and similarity, we use this in our geometric figures. So in our figures, like unlike in our equality, we cannot perform uh, addition and multiplication in this congruence and similarity. Uh, to further understand, let's have this figure and example. If we have the angle, so, angle A is congruent to angle C. So, this time, we use the symbol congruent. Line segment, so we have segment MN is congruent to segment PQ. And for the polygon, let's say triangle DEF is similar to triangle GHI. And for the circle, all circles are similar to other circles. So those are the differences between the equality and congruence and similarity. Now, let us proceed in the different properties of congruence and equality. Now let's have our first property, the reflexive property. When a relation, we use this symbol or this star to represent our unknown relation has a reflexive property, it means that the relation is always true between a thing or itself. Between a thing or itself. So, A has a known relation to A. So, let's have our table. We have the relation, we have the equality, congruence, and similarity. We have the symbols for the equality, the equal sign, for the congruence, the congruence symbol, and for the similarity. So, to understand this reflexive property, let's have our example. So, a thing is equal to itself. So, that is always true. So, that's why if you have negative one half, that is equal to negative one half. If you have angle M and P, that is congruent to angle M and P. And if we have triangle M and P, that is similar to triangle M and P. So those are the different relations. And of course, our example. Now, what if you have the figure? Because you will be dealing with the figure and you will be using this property to prove some triangles. So we have here our first figure, number one. We have triangle A, B, C, or let's say we have D here. Okay. If we're going to withdraw our triangle, or to separate our triangle, that will become like this one. 
So that is A, B, D. And we have B, C, D. By reflexive property, we know that uh, B, D is equal to B, D. By reflexive property, or or segment BD is congruent to segment BD, or the measure of BD is equal to measure of BD by reflexive property. Now, what if we have this figure? So again, if we're going to red row, that will become like this one, this smaller triangle. So we have here K, L, O, and the bigger one, we have K, M, N. We have here our K, so by reflexive property, angle K is congruent to angle K. Or the measure of angle K is equal to the measure of angle K. That is the reflexive property of congruence and equality. Now let's have our second property, the symmetric property. When a relation has a symmetric property, it means that the if relation is true between two things. It is true in either way or either order. So if we have if A has a known relation for B, then B has a known relation for A. So again, our different relations can be inequality, congruence, similarity, parallelism, or perpendicularity. And we have the following symbols. So for equality, equal, congruence, congruent symbol, similarity, and parallelism, the parallel sign, perpendicular, and the perpendicular sign. Now let's have our examples. So using the symmetric property, if 8 is equal to 11 minus 3, okay, that is true, then 8 minus 3 is equal to Ah, sorry, 11. Then 11, that is 11, is equal to 8. For the congruence, if segment VW is congruent to segment XY, then segment XY is congruent to segment VW. For the similarity, if ABCD is similar to MN, let's say OP, then MNOP is similar to ABCD. For the parallelism, if line M is parallel to line N, then Line N is parallel to line N. And for the perpendicularity, if ray ST is perpendicular to ray UV, then ray UV is perpendicular to ray ST. So that is the symmetric property. And now our third property, the transitive property. When a relation has a transitive property, then the two things that relate to a common middle thing also relate to each other. So if A has an unknown relation to B and B has an unknown relation to C, so our middle thing here is B, then a has an unknown relation to C, so also relate to each other. To better understand, let's have the following relations and examples. 
for the equality, if angle uh, measure angle F is equal to measure angle G, and measure angle G is equal to measure angle H, so our middle here is measure angle G, then measure angle F is equal to measure angle H. That would be our conclusion using the transitive property. For the congruence, if triangle RST is congruent to triangle WXY and triangle WXY is congruent to triangle FGH, so our middle here is triangle WXY, then triangle RST is congruent to triangle FGH that is by transitive property third similarity if circle A is similar to circle B and circle B is similar to circle D then circle A is similar to circle And for the parallelism, if segment JK is parallel to segment LM and segment LM is parallel to segment NO, then segment JK is parallel to segment NO. So that is the transitive property of congruence and positive property of equality. So those are the three properties of congruence and equality. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.